Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be discussing modified modulus down counters and how we modify an up counter to turn it into a down counter because typically that's what you're probably going to do in your class is you're going to be mixing and matching and working in between. So I'm going to try, try to point out some of the pitfalls that your students will be facing or if you're a student watching this, some of the pitfalls that you need to avoid. So right now what we have is a circuit, it's a mod 5 up counter, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the 5 states that are appearing on the, uh, on the hex display there, DCD hex. And um, a couple of things to point out before we begin. Number one, it's an up counter because we have a negated a not Q going to a positive edge triggered clock. Remember, polarity drives this to be an up counter because it's negative to positive, negative to positive. Okay, so we're going to need to switch that. Okay, that'll that'll switching that will turn it into a down counter. Right now, our current passcode, if we trace these wires back, it goes to Q not, which is a zero in the four spot excuse me, in the one spot, a zero in the one spot here. You have a Q, which is a one in the two spot. And you have going to Q here, which is a one in the four spot. So we have one in the four, one in the two, zero in the ones. One, one, zero is the number six, is the passcode, okay? that The number six resets it instead of displaying. So that's why five is the last number that appears. Currently, we are resetting to the number one. And I can tell that because it goes to a zero in the one spot. I keep mixing these up. That's a zero in the four spot. It goes to a zero in the two spot, and it goes to a one in the one spot. Okay, so that's why we have a reset code of one. That's what it resets to. The output of the NAND gate here determines what it resets to. So let's go through and let's make some changes. And let's try to get this thing instead to be a mod three down counter that counts down from four to two, four, three, two, four, three, two. Okay, that's what we're going for. All right, so a lot of changes that we need to make. I think the easiest thing to probably do here in this case is to go ahead and just let's delete the presets and clears. And let's just start off by... Um, and we're, we're going to do get rid of the clears as well and the presets here because I don't want to have any sort of, uh, you know, I don't know. It's easy to go wrong whenever you start halfway through a circuit that you've already used for some other purpose. Okay. If we want to reset to the number four every single time, we have to know what that is in binary. That's nothing in the one spot. That's nothing in the two spot. That's a one in the four spot. So what I need to do is take this and go preset here it's going to tie to it okay so when this blips out a zero it will activate the preset in the fours location which means this probe will turn on which means this will display a four now the others are going to get a clear then that will go to clear and this will go to clear that's in essence telling it that i'm going to take one zero zero is going to be my my reset code okay now, I can't just leave the other, the preset, preset, and this clear. I can't just leave them hanging, so I have to do something with them. I'm going to tie those to 5 volts to VCC, and in essence, that's just not going to use them. So I'll connect here. I'm going to connect here. A little bit messy, but I'm trying to work quick, so, you know, this will do. That's why everything's color-coded, by the way. Much easier to follow, isn't it? So I have it resetting to 4. Now I need to reset, and I need 2 to be the last number appears. Well, if you think about it this way, okay, that means that whenever I go through and I type in, without this, without any kind of reset mechanism, it would go 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, right? And then it would roll back over to the 7. So that's what it wants to do with no NAND gate, okay? What I want to do is eliminate this. I'm not going to bother the 7, 6, 4, but 4, 3, 2, and then the number that would appear next would be the number one. So my passcode here is not the number above the number one. It's, or excuse me, two. It's not the number three. It's the number one. It's one beyond what I want to count to. So how do I get the number one in binary? Well, it's pretty simple here. The number one in binary is just a one here, zero here, and a zero here. Remember, one spot, two spot, and four spot. They're backwards as far as how you would write them on paper, okay? Here's the one spot. That means I need to take this, and I'm looking for Q, Q naught, Q naught. Let me undo that. There we go. Q, Q naught, Q naught. So let's look what we're tied to. Right now, this one's tied to Q naught, so I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to redo this to tie to Q. Here, I've already tied to Q. I need to delete that, and I need to tie to Q naught. And then here, I need to tie to Q naught as well. So I delete the wire, tie into Q naught, okay? Now, the only thing I haven't done 
is the problem is I'm, I'm still counting upward. I've never changed the, the direction that it's counting. So the last thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to change this. This is a positive edge trigger clock. I can tell because there's no bubble out here in front of the, in the triangle. Okay. And it's going right now to not Q. I'm just going to take that. I'm going to delete this wire. I'm going to take it and go to positive Q. So now I have positive Q to positive edge trigger, same polarity. I'm going to take this one and do the same. Positive edge trigger, positive Q, same polarity. Now this thing is going to count downward instead of upward. When I click play, let's see if what happens. There you go. So now it counts downward from four to two instead of upward from one to five. And that's how you modify a circuit to count downward. That's how you modify your passcode. You have to go one beyond. So one beyond the number two is the number one now because we're counting down. And we're resetting to the preset and clear inputs based on what number we want to appear first, which is the number four in this case. Hopefully that makes sense. That should get you going on a large portion of 3.2, which is asynchronous counters. I have one more video to create, and it's a little bit of a, it's something that's going to occur. You're going to see the ripple effect show up. And so I'm going to show you one of circuits that the ripple effect actually causes you to have some headaches and how to adjust that and how to fix that issue.